Ladies and gentlemen, today I come to you dressed like a fuckwit. So, I'm going to do a quick review on two different types of snake gators. Now it's coming into snake season and we're allowed to go out and hunt again in Victoria. So, two sets of snake gators. We've got the Maroka 30 uh, set here and the Hunter's Element version 1. Not going to go into version 2 because I haven't got a set of those yet to review. However, these are the two most available ones you'll see in gun shops around the country at the moment. Now, oh, I'm wearing them currently, so Maroka 30 on the right, Hunter's Element on the left. So, we'll go through a couple of pros and cons of each what I like about each of them, what I don't like about each of them, and then that way you can have uh, more information and make an informed decision of what you want to buy um, for your snake gators. Start with the Maroka 30. So, firstly, very comfortable. Um, it's easy to get on. I find it, I find the Maroka 30 a lot easier to get on than the Hunter's Element one. So, um, this is attached by a massive, I think it's a YKK, yep. Massive YKK zip. What's the word? It's a coarser zip as opposed to a fine zip on these ones. I find this one a lot easier to zip up. Um, it's easier to put on. I find that the Hunter's Island one is a bit funny, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Um, you can wear them a lot looser. Um, as you can see here, I don't have the top strap done all the way up. So, it fits a little bit looser. It's still a little bit elasticized, but it fits a hell of a lot looser around your legs. So if you're hunting with shorts on and just your gaiters, which I do a lot of, um, you're gonna have a lot more breathability on your legs. Um, it's also a lot thinner than the Hunter's Island ones, um, just out of what it's made out of. Now it is just a normal um, canvas. It looks just like they've cut it out of a tent. So they've probably got some old army issued tents and cut them up. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Um, another thing I like about them is the fact that at the bottom here, especially if you're wearing uh, boots like these where oh, the shoelaces start higher, um, you can actually get your hook on there, whereas on these, you can't. Um, it's got the normal quietening stuff. Now, both of these make a non-quiet version, which is there. I think for Morocco 30, it's green, and for these guys, it's grey. Um, why you would buy gaiters that aren't quiet um, is fucking beyond me, but you can if you want to be a fuckwit and make heaps of noise while you're stalking. So, things I like about them, easy to get on, you can wear them loose, and they're very, very comfortable. Um, I find them a lot more comfortable than the Hunter's Element ones. All right, things I don't like about them, I'm not a massive fan of Morocco 30's cam pattern, but then again, I obviously don't give a shit either, because it's cam, and I don't look at my own legs and go, hmm, yes, cool, that looks suave. One thing I don't like about the Morocco 30 ones is the fact that the silencing fabric does not go all the way to the bottom. I would prefer if that covered all the way down. However, you know, it doesn't. Not a big deal. It does make a little bit more noise than these ones. Uh, we're walking through thick scrub, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, and one other thing I like about them, because it has elastic around the ankle part here, it allows you to be able to push it down a bit more. So you've got a little more to play with in height out of the one size. So. If you've got monster calves, like me, um, and you have to get the really long ones, sorry, the really big ones to fit the length of your leg, um, you can still push it down as a dig into the back of your knee, which is the main factor of why I bought these after having these for quite a while. So, that's my 30. Uh, yeah, can't get it. All right, moving on to the Hunter's Element ones. So, um, right, where do I start with these fucking things? First off the bat, they're fucking real thick. Um, now, I don't generally wear snake gaiters in the winter here, which is what these, I believe, are more suited to. It's cold weather. I normally wear my snake gaiters once snakes, I start seeing them, which is generally, you know, spring through till autumn. They're very, very thick and very hot to walk with. They're a bit closer in fitting. Like, as you can see, they fit a little bit more snug around the calf here, and they are shaped somewhat at the back there but then they're real big and bulky around this part, which I'm not a massive fan of. All right, with the hook at the front, if you don't have, and I think they've made this so you have to wear their fucking proprietary boots or, and or some sort of civilian fucking hunting boot or whatever, but um, if your boot laces are like these Garmin T8s that start higher up, you're not gonna be able to get your hook on. So because of that, I had to put a lanyard on the bottom. Now they do sell the fucking um, gator wires, but they're fucking like 20, 15, 20 bucks for a piece of fucking 
rope wire, fuck off. So I just got some uh, elastic that I had off some old kit, I don't even know what the fuck they're off, but I uh, cut it up, tied it in a knot, so it sits on there to hold the gator down, otherwise it will just ride up constantly if you don't have the hook on. So if you have a different pair of boots that um, you know, it doesn't have the laces all the way down to the bottom of the toe, then something to look at. All right, this strap here annoys the fuck out of me. Um, you can't really tuck it in anywhere. You can probably tuck it in like that, but then it gets really uncomfortable. Um, and it just fucking flaps around. It drives me insane. On the Maroka 31s, I can actually tuck it in underneath that part there. They are very, you know, quite, as I said, they're quieter than the Maroka 31s when you're stalking around or whatever but um, they are a fucking pain in the ass to put on. Now this angled part here, when you look at it, you're like, oh, okay, that looks like it'd be easy to put on, but it's fucking not, it's a pain in the ass, especially when, you know, you've thrown your, oh, fucking hell, drop me microphone. All right, you've put your leg up and you're bending down. Instead of it being just here, you know, it's, it's fuck. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but the angle of that, um, just annoys the piss out of me. And the other thing that's kind of annoying is that. Um, you know, if I'm out in the bush, and this does happen sometimes, I get a little bit uncomfortable, or I sit down and I'm, you know, watching for a deer to come through or whatever, I'm like, oh, I might loosen my gaiters off to get some airflow onto my legs. And you sit there and you're nice and quiet, and then, yeah, because every fucking deer's not gonna hear that. Whereas with these ones, you know, pop that, just a zip. So, um, a lot quieter. The other thing I don't like about the uh, harness element ones is the sizing. Now, because I've got fucking monster calves to get, uh, these are both extra large by the way, so extra large in harness element, extra large in America 30. Now to get them big enough to fit around my fucking monster calves, I had to get extra large, but that means they have to be extra fucking long too. And they dig into the back of my knee. Now, you can see this part here, where it has their logo, harness element. That is really hard canvas that comes at the top and it does not really compress. So you have this hard canvas fucking corner going straight into the back of your knee. It doesn't go down, that's the height you've got and you're fucking stuck with it. So that is fucking really, really annoying. Now I believe they've addressed most of these issues in the version two, which came out like a week or two ago. As it stands, I would rate the Maroka 30 gaiters over the Hunter's Element gaiters as it stands with these two versions I have in front of me. Um, Hunter's Element, feel free to send me some version twos and uh, I'll review them because they're probably gonna be better than these because these are shit. So anyway, that's my two cents on the two different most readily available snake gators in Australia. Um, hope you got something out of that and uh, don't get bitten by snakes. Hey,